Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, to another mod showcase. I am your host, Emperor Lorcan, and I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hobbit Home Revisited. Now I actually did a test recording, or recorded this before, and it the, the home itself is very beautiful. I'll show you where we are on the map. Um, it's called Lake Home. But technically, it's called Hobbit Home Revisited. Now, it totally ate up my CPU usage. Um, you know, because my I was uh, was looking at my recording software, and my CPU was like over like one one point oh percent, which is not a good thing. Um, I think it's because of all the flora that's in this mod. Um, hopefully, it goes away when we go inside. But we're going to do go like a little roundabout go from right to left and uh yeah just do this in typical fashion um so obviously immediately when you come out you have your apiaries with your little bees and stuff you have your little floor your red mountain flowers your purple mountain flowers your uh i'm assuming blue mountain flowers your lavender it's a little garden outside your mushrooms and stuff um, and these fences are actually custom. I actually am using a custom texture for the fences. Um, and, and also the walls. I'm using Noble Skyrim for all of my texture mods. And plus it doesn't use a whole lot of resources. So if you're on PC and you want an actually good um, texture pack, Noble Skyrim is the way to go. Uh, because... A, it doesn't use a whole lot of resources, and B, doesn't take up, like, half of your CPU, which is a good thing. Um, so, you have your bench to sit on. Again, your red mountain flowers. And uh, these are, uh, I, think, I think these are, like, the um, Skyrim Flora Overhaul mod, tree mods, tree models. I really don't know. And, um, so yeah, so this area kind of gave me issues before, but obviously, you know, when you first walk in, this is kind of like your little guard, garden slash smithy area. You have, um, little, uh, little, uh, fountain, you have your statue to Diabella, quite a bit of cool. You have your little, like I said, your little smithy area has everything you need. Well, almost everything. Doesn't have the smelter. I don't see the smelter, but oh well. And this is, and I, and I hear a nerd root. Um, you have your little chickens. You have leeks, potatoes, wheat. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, just that lag spike there. So yeah, so there are two ways to get them in, into the home. Home. So I'm assuming this is the front. I want to assume. Ooh, cool. A little picnic area. That's cool. Have your salmon. Right, let's go inside. Now, like I said, uh, Lord of the Rings was always one of my favorite franchises of all time. You know, I grew up with it. Um, you know, it was one of the first movies that I ever watched in terms of like fantasy movies, fan fantasy genres. Um, but yeah. Um, so let's go from right to left and then we'll kind of circle our way back into the uh, front area. So you have your, yeah, so this is the main, uh, main, um, this is your room, basically. 
Your chest. Little stand. Every statue of Diabella. Again. I think this is where you will uh, read this. Okay, so this is just letting you know that the home is yours, basically. Um, Shrine of Mara. Iron shield and iron, uh, basically weapon plaques and stuff. Mannequin. <gasps> oh my god, it has a sauna! Oh. Heck yes. Oh my goodness. So you have your arcane enchanter. Shrine of Julianus. I'm assuming sleep. Okay. You have uh, whatever this is. Oh, <gasps> is this a shower? I'm assuming this is like a bed or a bath area. I want to assume. Oh my god! It's a, uh... <laughs> Shrine of Diabella. It's, uh, I want to assume this is a, um... Steam area. Steam room. Quite a bit of cool. Okay, so we'll go in there ne uh... A little later. Shrine of RK. Little books. Nice. I'm assuming this is either the kids' bedroom or the followers' bedroom. One of the two. Let's go check out the armory. Oh. My God. Ooh. Light armory. Um, heavy armory. You have mannequins for days. Trying of Azura. Trying of Talos. Otar. Oh, this is for the all the um, dragon priest masks. Oh, you have Ovdar, Evnarak, Nakrin, Volsung, Croesus, Conarik, uh, Sacrisos, um, Mirak. Um, Azadol, who has a very Tragic backstory. Um, Dukan, Wooden Mask, Bokun, Ragat, Morakai. Nice. Hectami Hec Spirit? Not sure how to pronounce that. Every shrine of Akatosh. Have your weapon racks behind the. Uh, yeah, and the, uh, oh, on, on both sides. A bit, a bit of cool. You have your swords, your bows, your axes, your maces. Very nice. Alright, so let's go backtrack. The dinner area. The dining area. How nice. Save your fresh <laughs> fresh milk. Uh, salt. Salt. Eggs. Butter. And flour. You have your ale. You have your liquors and wines. You have your spiced wine. Your honey. I'm, I'm assuming this is all like storage. Venison shop. Vegetable soup. Bit of it cool. You have, I'm assuming this is like the wash stuff. You have your um, oven. Your cooking area or your cooking pot or a cooking spit. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> take, take butter from churn. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, it adds butter. 
gives you butter. Bug jars? I'm assuming this is for the bugs in a jar. Goat cheese wheel. Nice. Alchemy, my goodness, alchemy, you know, stuff for days. My goodness. Emperor Parasol Moss. Emperor Parasol Moss. Have your alchemy lab. Fertile soil. Assuming this is the garden. Moss. Quite a bit of cool. Alright, let's go out and see what the other one was. I'm assuming this leads out to the sky. Okay. Have your display case. Have your, uh, what's in the chest? Oh, it's six gold? Okay. <laughs> Prison wine. Cool. Anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed that episode. Um, I'll be uploading more episodes on the daily, every day, throughout the day, and everything. So look out for those. Um, yeah. So that's just about it. See you later, guys. <laughs>